and welcome back to another episode of Inside Politics. I'm Rianda Wenther. In light of President Donald Trump's State of the Union address last night, I'll be breaking down the top moments and key points of the speech and also discussing the response speech made by Democratic Representative Joe Kennedy. Last night, President Donald Trump gave his first State of the Union address of his presidency. He highlighted and touched on many topics, including employment, the economy, immigration, national security, and many more. Beginning with employment and the job market. Donald Trump began his speech with discussion over our country's employment rates. He stated that since the election, we have created 2.4 million new jobs, including 200,000 new jobs in manufacturing alone. Although this is very true, this number includes November and December of 2016 and January of 2017, while Barack Obama was still president. He also touched highly on unemployment rates among African Americans, stating that they are at the lowest rate ever recorded. This unemployment rate has been on a steady decline since March of 2010, and by January 2017, when Trump took office, the rate had already declined nine points from 16.8%. And now a year later, it has declined one point over the course of Trump's first year in the presidency. Now onto the economy. Trump spent a portion of his speech attributing our nation's current economic status to his administration's actions. He claimed that the major tax cuts provided by the $1.5 trillion tax bill he signed last year provided tremendous relief for the middle class and small businesses. When stating that small businesses can now deduct 20% of their business income because of the massive tax cut, he referenced two of his guests, Steve Staub and Sandy Keplinger, small business owners in Ohio who just finished the best year in their 20-year history. He also stated that 401k, retirement, pension, and college savings accounts have increased greatly. And since the tax cuts were passed, roughly 3 million workers have received tax cut bonuses. Also touching on energy, Donald Trump claimed that the war on energy has ended and so has the war on coal. And now the U.S. is proudly an exporter of energy to the entire world. During the speech, President Trump called to Congress, urging Democrats and Republicans to join together to produce a $1.5 trillion infrastructure bill, stating that the United States desperately needs a plan to permanently fix the infrastructure deficit. This bill will work towards building and adding changes to new roads, bridges, highways, and more to our country. Regarding immigration, Trump focused in on his administration's immigration plan, calling for a continued bipartisan action among Democrats and Republicans. He proposed a four-pillar plan for immigration that covers multiple actions that could potentially offer 1.8 million dreamers a path to citizenship, secure the border, close loopholes that have been exploited by criminals and terrorists that enter our country, and ends the dangerous practice of catch and release. The third and fourth pillars of this plan propose to end the visa lottery and chain migration. President Trump stated that it is time to reform the outdated immigration rules and finally bring our country's immigration system into the 21st century. In a rebuttal speech made by Democratic Representative Joe Kennedy after President Trump's State of the Union, he made a strong argument against Donald Trump in his first year as president. Mr. Kennedy stated that this administration isn't just targeting the laws that protect us, they're targeting the very idea that we are all worthy of protection. He touched on the goals of the Democratic Party, including higher minimum wage, expanded health care, paid leave, and affordable education. He also spoke in Spanish for a portion of his speech, speaking directly to the millions of young undocumented immigrants that were brought to the U.S. as children, known as dreamers, saying, you are part of our story. We will fight for you and we will not walk away. He ended his speech with this statement. Ladies and gentlemen, have faith. The state of our union is hopeful, resilient, enduring. Thank you for tuning in to this special edition of Inside Politics. I'm Rianda Wenther, and I'll see you next time.